One time my sister was working at Home Depot and got called down to help handle an outrageously angry man returning a lawnmower and it was our dad. Oh boy, time to browse r slash Tumblr, which is a bunch of Tumblr posts at 2 a.m. when I have a final in eight hours, because why the hell not? <laughs> oh, and disclaimer. Today I learned a troop of 15 monkeys escaped a primate research center in Japan by using trees as catapults over a five meter high electric fence, and afterwards were lured back with peanuts. Monkey brain, if we pull back this tree, we can use it to preserve momentum to hurl ourselves over the dangerous fence. Also monkey brain, <laughs> he who peanut. <laughs> In Get Out 2017, Rose is shown using the search engine Bing. This is a subtle nod to the fact that she is a deranged psychopath. <laughs> Niagara Falls has created a new mascot to get kids more involved in recycling. <laughs> His name? Tuts McGowan. <laughs> it looks like the goat mask you can buy from the freaking DVD store down the block. <laughs> this is like something out of Parks and Rec. In Old Norse, men didn't say, I love you. They would say, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm not even going to attempt reading this one. <laughs> Which loosely translates into, you are my Valkyrie, and I would follow you across the nine realms and into eternity. And I think that's beautiful. Let me, let me, let me just, just put that into Google Translate here. <laughs> you can lift my hammer at any time if you know what I mean. <laughs> My wife is out of town, so I have successfully eaten burritos for the last four meals, which all happened before noon. <laughs> Eating this fifth burrito is not really fun, but I've given up on too many goals in the past, and I'm not giving up on another. This man is a professor at my college. I was in our class today. A girl was crying and her friend was comforting her, but she kind of just stopped and was like, I'm sorry about what happened, but where did you get your eyeliner? It seems to be really good. Like, it didn't smudge or anything. Then the girl was that was crying sniffled and said, it's Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's abolish all clocks. The concept of time itself. Live by sunlight. Primal instincts and internal clocks only. When is the next bus getting here? It's a surprise. That's no different from how buses already operate. Today I learned that someone set up a solar-powered MP3 and speaker system in the middle of the Namibian desert to play Africa by Toto for the rest of time. Imagine being hopelessly lost in the Namibian desert and you start hearing Africa playing somewhere over the dunes. You're like, okay, that's pretty surreal, but a definite sign of human life, which means I'm saved. But then you get closer and it's just this thing. There is only one good yandere in the history of anime ever. And it's Panini from Chowder. Please note that babies and cats cannot use the fit meter. Please note that babies and cats cannot use the fit meters. But why dogs? Because a chonky cat is a blessing, that's why. Today's aesthetic. Keeping the same tab open in your browser for three solid weeks because you're definitely going to get around to reading and or acting on whatever is in it any minute now. This is a personal attack. Don't talk to me or my 67 tabs ever again. I don't think enough retellings of the Cain and Abel story make note of the fact that nobody had ever been killed or even died before when it happened. Cain had no idea beating his brother to death could possibly be a bad thing. Kane really did f around and find out. Kane, hey, I wonder what would happen if I hit Abel over the head with this rock. Abel just f drops like a sack of hammers. <laughs> Kane. <laughs> Deep shower thoughts. No matter how old you are, an empty wrapping paper tube is still fun to bonk someone over the head with. Hashtag seeing a cardboard tube activates the cane and state. <laughs> what if your eyes change color depending on your mood? 
A teacher looking up from a lecture and being annoyed that all the students' eyes are gray with boredom. Until they notice, with sinking horror, that one student in the back who is deeply aroused. Me. How old were you? Oh, I was a freshman. Me. A European. I still have no idea how old you were. Someone from the UK. I'm in sixth form. Me. How many regenerations do you have left? That's a Star Trek joke for all you Trekkies out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm only kidding. Uh, can you do some e-girl Barney the Dinosaur palette? Uh, so, sorry, what now? Sakurai voice. Never ask me for anything ever again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I regret nothing! They say it's a mystery how the pyramids were built, but I reckon they started at the bottom and worked their way up. Let's face it, this looks a lot more difficult. I've been crying laughing over this for the past five minutes. This honestly reminds me of a show on the History Channel where they spent like 25 minutes wondering how the sides of all the pyramids seemed to be perfectly divisible by pi or something. And people were theorizing about aliens and some lost form of mathematics, but then at the end they interviewed a tired looking <laughs> paleontologist and he was... <laughs> he was just like, maybe they just used a wheel to do all their measurements. And the whole show just immediately collapsed. <laughs> Can you imagine being so far up your own ass with conspiracy theories that you forget about circles? It's only an unpaid internship if you don't steal enough office supplies. Stealing is wrong! You mean unpaid internships? I agree. We're doing postmodernism in sociology, and the teacher was talking about language games. Language that is so specialized that unless you're part of a specific group, it's totally incomprehensible. And, as an example, he gave us this monstrosity. What the hell am I looking? Oh my god! And what's even worse, I f***ing understood it! I had to explain this to my f***ing sociology class! This is why we should have never let millennials become teachers. <sighs> if you don't understand what this means, I could say that you're probably a lost cause. Uh, professor asked me if I prefer Miss or Mister, because non-binary, and I accidentally said ya boy! Without thinking, so now I have a professor that calls me ya boy Rogers every time I see him. I'm not seeing the problem. Daily Shower Thoughts In 20 years, filmmakers will be making period pieces set in the early 2000s with over-exaggerated aspects of that era, such as frosted tips, striped polos, shark teeth necklaces, and blasting Sum 41 all the time. Are uh, you implying that the 2000s era wasn't aggressively doing all of these things? I googled do worms breathe and it suddenly went into the first person. First worm! POV and it threw me off so far. Worms do not have lungs, but I breathe through my skin. I take an oxygen through my skin and it goes right into my bloodstream. My skin must stay wet in order for the oxygen to pass through it. But if I am in too much water, I drown. Just keep me damp, moist and slimy. <laughs> Just keep me damp. Excellent reasons to give pets boring human names. To see how long it takes co-workers to realize you're talking about a pet and not a significant other. Dave and I were watching a movie in bed the other night. Or about a kid. Maria is not allowed to eat the raisins, she's allergic. You can use them as an excuse. Taylor hates it when I get home late. Eventually, you get to say things like, Jennifer got stuck between the wall and the refrigerator again. American food. <laughs> My friend came back from the UK today, and this is the only picture he took. <laughs> I like how we're represented by Lucky Charms, Pop-Tarts, Hershey's Syrup, and just ungodly sugar-filled monstrosities. Which, I mean, to be fair, is, is pretty accurate. Look how much he's grown! My son! 
It's like one of those pills you put in water and it turns into a sponge dinosaur. By the way, just in case this helps someone, cooking, creativity is okay. Baking, stick to the recipe. You can usually adjust sugar content to taste though. Bread, wait for the right weather conditions or engineer them. Be one assertive and self-confident mother because dough can feel it if you aren't. A blood sacrifice probably helps. Trust the gods. Pastry. Your god is dead. The god of gluten and madness is risen. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Yoda and the originals. Hee hee hee. Little creature I am. <laughs> Yoda and the prequels. Backflip I do. Responsible for war crimes I am. Today I learned that Hoover Dam is expected to be one of the last remaining visible structures from our species, and it contains a star map that if no other means were available, could be used to determine the exact date on which Hoover Dam was completed. We could have just chiseled in the f***ing date on it, it's not some Stone Age creation. Yeah, because the squid people that inherit the earth will know when Christ was born. They will be Catholic! My dad always tells me that when he's with people bragging about their kids' accomplishments and such, he goes, Yeah, but are they, like, cool? And the parents always give him a confused look and he goes, Are they cool? My kids are so cool, I love hanging out with them. And it always throws people off and I think that's so funny and sweet. Like, I may be a f idiot with just about zero accomplishments, but at least my dad thinks I'm cool. I guarantee to you the other kids are not cool. My dad and I every once in a while play Command and Conquer Generals and that's like, honestly, that's like one of my favorite things to do and I don't think he knows that. <laughs> I would be so dangerous if I knew how anything worked. That's it! That's the show! <laughs> this show is goddamn amazing, don't you dare make fun of it. Sometimes you have to just treat yourself like an overtired toddler. Okay, as soon as you finish this assignment, you can take a little nap. You just cleaned your room! Good job! Hmm... Maybe eating a snack will stop you from wanting to cry. Sometimes? I think you mean all the time. Being an adult is just parenting yourself. If you find bones in the forest, sit a bit and listen. They are old and they have some good stories to tell. Maybe they'll teach you a spell or two or explain where the water on our planet came from. You find bones by the ocean, run. Don't look back, run faster, faster. The sea may love you, but there are nights where she knows neither mercy nor science, and the bones warn you only once. Boy, if you find bones, call the police. I hate this website so much. This is a piece of creative writing, in case you couldn't tell from the fact that real bones don't usually go, hey, little mama. Let me whisper bony secrets in your ear or warn you of the incoming tides like a calcified weather frog. Fuck algebra, I don't need it. I just just give me a dead body and I'll figure it out from there. I I I feel I should clarify I'm a mortuary science major. People who leave their phones at the military time are fing war criminals. How do you look at 1605 and go, wow, I can understand that? Bootlickers, what's next? You gonna you gonna go join the army? Recruit me? Americans be like, okay, I can't pass. <laughs> I can't count past twelve. Actually, today I learned the Bible contains a passage where it says it became dark in daytime during the crucifixion of Jesus. It was discovered a total eclipse did actually occur in Jerusalem on the twenty fourth of November, twenty nine CE, at around eleven a.m. This fact got dismissed by the church because the date is not in accordance with Easter. Historians, we found out the actual day Jesus was crucified. Catholic Church, how dare you question our appropriation of pagan holidays. Okay, but like, could can you imagine being a Roman, nailing up some dude who's like, I'm the son of God, brah, and then the f***ing sun goes black? I j Old West Saloon owner. Make it so the floorboards don't creak when regular patrons walk in, but do creak when a mysterious stranger walks in. Carpenter. What? What if you intentionally put one squeaky floorboard and tell your regulars that if they squeak it, their first drink costs 10% extra? Then, only new people who don't know the rule will step on it and familiars will avoid it. 
did did you just write an algorithm for human behavior? Because that is exactly what I would expect from a robot appreciation tumbler. Hey, thanks for making it to the outro. Uh, if you want to see me stream, I'll be streaming this Friday on my gaming channel, so go check that out. Also, if you enjoyed this content, you should totally subscribe and like the video and comment. That'd be pretty cool if you did. I also got a Discord and Twitter if you want to go check those out. And now that I've finished shilling, the 20 seconds is up, and I'll see you all next time.